Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Gasmas Guys. This is another low vis, uh, low resolution video because I uh, I'm nearly out of space on my phone, but I thought I'd do this video for you. Um, all of the cameras are not working currently, and this issue has gotten out of hand. So recently, um, the British government has made it where any gas mask shipped through the GSP that is British and black, pretty much, is illegal to export. The reason why I found that is I ordered another S6, a left-handed one, from England. It did not make it through uh, the GSP. Simply, it was... Uh, they told the uh, buyer that, hey, this can't make it. I did get a refund for the item, and the item went back to the owner, respectively. But after that, the owner was not willing to try to send the mask through other means, which was a very big disappointment to me because I've always wanted a left-sided S6 for a video. It's gone the same for FM12s and S10s. Currently, they are restricting our access to these gas masks. So it's, uh, it's pretty sad that this is happening. And there's even talks about restricting the brand new, uh, well, the it's not old. These have been around since the 80s. Uh, the S10 filter. Also used on the S6 as well. They're issued with both masks. It's annoying. Uh, I, I just, I don't know how to say. It. It's an absolute pain in the rear. And I don't hate the people. I guess I understand why you're trying to restrict gas masks, I guess. Like, we don't want people bombing each other. But the point is simple. Why bother banning it? You can buy a gas mask anywhere. Heck, you can go over to flipping Lithuania, order a GP5, bring it over, or you could order a GP7, or you can order, um, what's another good mask? M10, just to protect you from tear gas. No problem. You can easily get, um, there's easy access to gas masks. So I don't understand why the GSP is restricting our access to these, uh, to these pieces of history. Now, for example, the S6, this is a bit of a rant, I understand, but the S6, let's look at the S6. Look, this one was made in 1968. It doesn't have any seal, but according to the GSP, this is an illegal item. Why? It takes a 40 millimeter filter that doesn't exactly seal properly to the mask. The masks are cracking up. These are wearing out. And what's even worse is this mask is obsolete by all British forces. Not even the police use this mask anymore. Heck, the British police are starting to phase out the uh, S10. So, I don't understand that. Now, for the FM12, I guess I understand it. Uh, it is a brand, it is a fairly new mask, but this design is over, over 20 years old. This, of course, is 50 years past its expiry date. And these masks are getting old too, so I don't understand why they're restricted. I can buy this from my own country, no problems. But if I want to order it from overseas, uh, namely Britain or Europe, it gives me trouble. I don't understand that. But yeah, don't mind me. I'm sorry. This is a bit of a rant. Um, I've been a bit disappointed today. But you know what? I'm pretty sure all of you agree on me that it's absolute BS that I can't buy an S6 from Britain. Like, come on, man. Yeah, that's that's just my rant. Um, while we're here, I might as well go up into possible masks that are that they are preparing to outlaw, if that makes sense, because they have been targeting other masks. So, the GSP originally started restricting gas masks in 2015. They started off with the uh, S10s. However, they could not fully restrict them until 2016. 2016, all S10s were... So pretty much, if you want to send an S10 to Australia, it's not going to make it. Simply because the British the British government recognized it as their property. Which makes sense, because the S10 is still being used. Not long after, about mid-2016, they started to make these unable to get through the GSP. So if you try to buy this through the GSP program, you're not going to get it. It's going to be returned to the respective owner. Now, there are some uh, cases where they do make it through, even though these are quite uncommon. So if you did get one of these in uh, this year, you are very lucky, my friend, and you should count your blessings. But recently, around, I think, April, when I ordered this mask, they have started to restrict the S6 as well. 
I don't know why this is the case. I don't understand why it's they don't have asbestos. They're not dangerous. They're outdated. Um, I guess they look scary, but I could easily buy. Like okay, here's here's my main point, and this is why it upsets me. I could easily get another mask from the Warsaw countries that does the job better than this mask. And that's not me being unforgiving to the S6. The S6 is an excellent gas mask, but the issue is most of them are degrading or they've lost their seal through service. Remember, these masks have been around since the early 60s, or I think mid-60s. This one's from 1968. It was redone in 1972, and I found it issued with this filter when it got shipped in from Britain, which it was used as a reservist mask up until the 90s. So these masks were formally decommissioned, like all of them were finally out of service around, I think, the early 2000s. By that time, they had finally gotten rid of their last ones for training. But this is a formally obsolete gas mask. The only country that uses these now are Turkey. And mind you, that Turkey uses a different version of this mask entirely. They don't use the S6. They use the SR6. Or I think that's what it's called. It's, yeah, it's a completely different mask. Now... I did, the good news is, you can still buy these masks, just do not use the GSP. I am saving you trouble by saying this, do not use the GSP, because more or less what happens is it gets returned to the owner, and then the owner has to either refund you, or it just, you know, it just carries on from there. Whatever happens is your best guess. So, I'm just saying, hey, be aware of this issue, I've run into it a few times, and yeah... It's, it is a bit of a disappointment. The GSP was supposed to bring us new stuff, stuff that we usually can't get at a faster speed at an unreliable, at a very reliable rate, which is what they've always delivered. They've always shipped on time. They've always done good for me, but I find it very disappointing that they're doing that, doing this now. So yeah, I'm going to say thank you to the GSP because they're the actual ones that shipped me this mask in 2015. No, 2016, sorry. Early 2016, they shipped me this mask, and I'm thankful for it. I am thankful the GSP has supplied me with military stuff. Um, but I am disappointed that you will no longer sell me these. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I know it's a bit of a sad video, but hey, we always get those days where you're disappointed about something, and I'm just letting it out. I hope you guys understand this video. If not, feel free to unlike. Uh, Feel free to um, make any comments, etc. I will continue to strive making better videos, and I will take any feedback you give me. Now, I want to say thank you for all the support they've been giving me. Um, thank you for all the comments, for ideas. Uh, don't worry, guys. I know I've been, uh, you know, backtracked with everything. I did miss a week, which I am disappointed with, due to uni studies and busy with. Uh, volunteer work, actual work, and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, I do have a job now. Uh, I've been quite busy, so hopefully um, I'll be able to continue making videos for you guys. It just might be at a slower rate. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the subs. We are finally up to uh, seven, 730 subscribers or more by the time this video uploads. I don't know. It's been out of control, and I find it awesome. And yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy your day. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.